Hello and welcome back to Minecraft. I'm Michael, this is my test world and today we're going to take a look at Obsidian Generators in the latest snapshot which is 14w18a and Obsidian Generators still work even with string like this. Well, this has been my old Obsidian Generator but a lot has improved since then. For example, all this thing over here does is generate a single tick pulse which then led into that block to power the piston as a butt switch. And in the latest snapshot, this does exactly the same thing. So it generates a one, uh, one tick pulse and it works as a butt switch, which allows us for a much smaller obsidian generator, though this is only 4x5 and 3 high, whereas the other one over there has been 4 by 6 and 6 high, so we're really saving a lot of space. Now let's take a closer look at how this works. Um, let's turn F3 on again. Now we are facing west and looking at the hook. If you want to you, uh, generate obsidian with string, it's directional. Redstone isn't, it doesn't matter how you place redstone, but if you place string, so you see on the rest on the right uh, string is facing west. West is true. So now we're generating obsidian. Same over here. Um, string is facing south. And we still get obsidian. It doesn't work if the string is either facing east. So all you get now is cook string or if the string is facing north then the exact same thing happens all you get is nothing so let's try to build this and head over there so again this is important um, if you're facing north then the piston thing is on the right and the hook thing is on the left if you're facing east, then the piston is on the left and the hook on the right. So these are mirrored. Um, so now I'm going to show you how to build this. This is what you need. One sticky piston, block of redstone, slime blocks, two for three droppers, a hopper, um, some building blocks like nine blocks of iron, three redstone comparators, redstone torches, four of them, a furnace or any other non-movable block like obsidian, and then redstone lamp, dispenser for five redstone, for two redstone repeaters, two glass for safety precautions, a tripwire hook, a water bucket and lava plockets, and something to put into the droppers, like three sugar. And I'm using water buckets here because they give off a stronger signal, also they are not stackable. Now let's put all this in my inventory and we're good to go. Now let's build this and we'll do it with this. Uh, in this case I put down obsidian here. You can also leave it blank. Just important um, that there are no blocks beneath because slime blocks can't move the world. So now we already got a working butt switch. Let's give it a try. Yeah, and it's already working. Now, next put down the dropper. Oops. There, and the hopper leading into it. And if you like, you can already place the sugar into that. Then, building block there and there, and a comparator leading out of this. Whoa. <laughs> now what has been this sound? Um, build, oops, lag, building blocks in front. <laughs> Must be something with the caves beneath. And put some redstone torches on top of that. Then a chopper in that direction and another chopper pointing into it and if you like you can already put the water bucket into that. Next a comparator leading out of that with 
a block in front of it with a torch and that torch is leading the signal into the red zone we put on top of the furnace um, now uh, we are using the furnace because it's not movable by pistons if we used any other block like a regular building block and see now the block is moved by that and we don't want that this is why we are using the furnace for god's sake <laughs> and you place the redstone on top of that by, by holding shift and next place the redstone lamp in front of that so what this does this is a one two three counter see we got three items over there and whenever the uh, redstone block is next to that um, it gets a signal and shoots an item into the hopper now the hopper is blocked um, because it's getting a signal from up here um, once we're done for, so up here this is the re reset um, once we're done the water bucket is moved from that dropper into that dropper which turns this signal off which allows the uh, hopper to move the items back into the, the dropper and then we are good to go again and start again for encounter three um now let's lead the signal into the dispenser mm. where's my dispenser okay place it facing downwards then remove that block and put some redstone dust on top of that and that and that and what this does, um, now we're taking a signal from the first dropper for when the um, water bucket is in there. Then it gives off a signal into that, um, which um, causes this dispenser to drop the lava down there. Um, now we have to retract the lava, so we are taking the signal from over here, or rather from a similar redstone torch and lead it down here then a repeater and a block in front of it and another repeater and now we're getting a second signal from over here and well really we're almost done from yeah okay it's in there now let's just give it a try if we play something here one two and three no let's okay now we're getting two ticks and we are ready to place lava bucket in there and what's still left is the hook and the water over there so now we're good to go let's try it at first with some red zone one two three and there's our obsidian so this is why we count to three one we break the block then two we place some string three we get another block of obsidian this is why we're counting to three now for some safety precautions place a glass block there and there and that's it that's really all there is to it if you want to build it facing east then you have to mirror everything I've done and um, put the hook on the right and the piston on the left and that's it if you liked it leave a like and this is really help <laughs> helping me tremendously and see you next time with more sticky no or slime plug action <laughs> see you again next time bye